Okay, so the car is getting a little full right there, but that's okay. We will forge on more garage sales. All right, Mom and I went garage selling today, so I thought I would show you my Tightwad Tuesday finds. Holy cow, you should have seen all the people at the garage sales. It is absolutely crazy on Friday morning here at garage sales. Wow. This is absolutely crazy. When I say the garage sales here are vicious, they are vicious. You should see the all the people. All the cars. Wow. This is... I guess not. I guess they're all off on Friday. Wow, look at all those people. Mom and I forged on and we found some really good stinking deals. This little bookshelf is gonna go in my closet. I, Mom and I collect Grace Livingston Hill and Betty Neal's books and I don't have any more space, but we do read these books over and over again all the time and I just need more space to keep them better organized. So I got that for $2.50. Mom got another one for $2.50 also. Okay, my shameful closet, but so I'm gonna put that shelf right here. Yes, we actually do reread all of these books. These free ones we get at the library. We don't reread those, but I go through one every two or three days. So yes, I am reading these all the time. This is where the little shelf is going to go. All right, here's today's garage sale find. So I got this little jar for free and this floor cleaner for free. Got that little bottle for a dollar for decorations. Got this really super cool old fan for $10. She paid 45 for it. And I'm gonna use it in the kitchen as a decoration. It really needs to be cleaned. I should have paid five for it, but I really liked it. And this fan is not a necessity, but this sounds so dumb. I've always wanted a real genuine vintage fan, old fashioned fan. I think this one is maybe from the 20s or 30s, not positive. Could not find this exact one online, but others similar were around $80 to $100. So for 10 bucks and a little bit of cleaning, I'm good with that. It is just something that I have always just really wanted. Seems crazy, I know. Got this little drawer for organizing. Paint rollers for a dollar. I used up all of mine painting. Got all these plants, pepper plants, tomato plants zinnias um there was a guy that had a truck and cash box and said pay what you want so i paid him 250 and three dollars for these got this KitchenAid mixer they wanted a hundred they took 50 and i looked it up it is 550 dollars to buy it new and on upcycle they're selling them for 150 to 200 dollars and there's like a list of people who want them so if i don't use it I'm gonna resell that. Now, I don't even like KitchenAid mixers. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep this mixer or not. I'm on the fence. I might use it if I start doing cooking videos in the new kitchen, using the recipes from our Dining on a Dime cookbook. Guys, groceries have gone up about 25%. My grocery bill though has not gone up. Why? Because I'm only buying stuff on sale and I'm using recipes like the ones in our Dining on a Dime cookbook, 25% off right now in the description below, guys. It will help you save money on your groceries. I think people really need help saving money on their groceries right now. So trying to decide if I should go ahead and do more cooking videos to give people tips and tricks on how to save money because I think things are gonna start getting rough. I'm gonna talk about that in just a minute, but I think things are going to be getting a little rough. I really just bought it for an investment. It's red, it's gonna go in my new kitchen. If I decide to use it, then I'll go ahead and keep it. But if I don't, I have no qualms about selling it. $550 brand new is what this thing costs from what I saw. So if I decide I don't wanna use it, I think I can easily get $200. People are always selling KitchenAids for $150 to $200 on Upcycle here and there's a list of people waiting. So I think I'm gonna be good with that. Got these cute little Old Spice things for 25 cents. Okay, so I was looking, putting up my little things look at this 7 1 1965 this one still has cayenne pepper in there can you see it right there and then look 
June 1956. Look what else was in there. Isn't that cute? For biggest savings, buy a Bayer aspirin in the handy two to three hundred tablet economy sizes. Mothers, buy flavored Bayer aspirin for children. That's funny. Wonder how if it says. Hmm. No date on that one. That is cool. And then mint flakes. Um, 1963 and close 57. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's some old spices. Holy cow. It's like almost 70 years old. Wow. Got this super cute, uh, soap dish for my bathroom for $2. Got a new drill. We needed a smaller drill and that was $5 including the battery it's worth it just for the extra batteries got this drip irrigation for four dollars got this curtain rod for a dollar got this paint sprayer for five dollars i want to paint my fence out there so for five dollars that's definitely worth it paint sprayer it was five dollars hundred dollars new so i think i got a good deal on that one also What's funny about this paint sprayer was I was really considering if I wanted to buy one new because I would just use a paint sprayer all the time, I think. I think I would just use one all the time. And so I think it's hilarious that I found one at a yard sale for five bucks. And was that a necessity? No, it's not. And honestly, with the way things are looking, which I'm gonna explain in just a minute, I'm gonna stop buying some of this stuff, I think. <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> that paint sprayer was only five bucks. It's a hundred dollars new. So now I can paint my fence, which I really wanted to paint. So I'm happy about that because I wanted to paint it before I put up all the deer proofing. Yeah, the little turds are eating my plants. And <laughs> so <laughs> keep them out of there. And I wanted to put that, or want to get that painted before I start, um, putting all my deer proofing on. Got one, two gas cans for $6 and a little gas can for a dollar and a sprayer for uh, $3. And then I got that cute little guy for a dollar. So you might be wondering, Tara, why are you buying so many gas cans? Well, in the last four days, Mike went to the gas station and could not get gas. And mom went to the gas station this morning and could not get gas. Guys, I think it's coming. So um, I'm stocking up on gas cans. We're gonna make sure our cars are all stocked and ready to go. We're not letting, letting anything go below a half a tank. Going to get the pickup filled up with all the gas cans. Guys, I think it's gonna hit us and when it hits us, it's gonna be hard. But there are signs that are starting to show that we might be having problems. So guys, if you're not prepared, get prepared now oh and by the way can you see that top ring there can you see that top ring there i got that for 50 cents so that's wedding ring number seven <laughs> mike loves me anyway but i keep breaking my wedding ring smashing my wedding ring so i thought well for 50 cents it's pretty cute so i'll grab that one so that's today's garage sales guys start getting ready please get prepared now i really think stuff is going to start happening and you need to get ready now here's a few of the plants that i planted yesterday also you thought you guys might like to see what i did with them so i got my pretty pansies and my coal buckets that i got for free poked a hole in the bottom turned those into planters same mom got me these little planters for 50 cents more coal buckets. Got to get the tag off of that one. Then some wave petunias. It's going to be super pretty. There's my delphinium. Here's some phlox. Just thought they were pretty. Some of my coleus have got started right there. More wave petunias. 
more waif petunias. Mike and the boys got me a wonderful collection of plants for Mother's Day. I always ask for plants for Mother's Day because I'm a huge gardener. And so they ever so generously showered mom with plants for Mother's Day. We got some pansies and some wave petunias and then daffodil and some lilies. So I got some of those planted. Super excited about that. Then mom and I went out to more garage sale Saturday morning. Mom was here at 645, which is a miracle for us. For some reason, I've been getting up at six o'clock every morning. Don't know why, but I have been. So we were up and ready to go. We did not have a very good start. My phone was really messing up. It was taking me places that I know was not the right address. <laughs> and so anyway, after a rough start, we actually found some really good deals. Today's garage sale finds, they had spray paint for 50 cents each and they are totally full. Paint is almost $10. I think this is like six or $8 now. So that's a good deal. Pioneer Woman Cup for a quarter. Steel Wool for a quarter. Cute little dish. I'm gonna use this in the, my bathroom. I'm making it blue. And so that will go for my homemade soap. And that was 25 cents. Brand new men's underwear for brand new package for $3. Mini food processor, $5 bucket for a dollar needed some jars for 25 cents then these tablecloths they are super pretty this is half of it so you can just see how much material is in there i think if i don't use it for a tablecloth i'm going to use it for curtain material i don't know why i just really like that and then she had a pink one also a dollar each and then I got some tomato plants and a pepper plant for free. And tomato plants were $3. So that's today's. And I got these great big flowers. They're probably 18 inches across for a dollar for both of those great big flowers. And this isn't the arrangement, but I'm going to make an arrangement with them. I just put them in there for the moment. That is today's garage sale finds. Another thing we discovered is I don't think that yesterday when there were so many people at the garage sale i think what it is is people don't go out early to the garage sales about 8 30 or so is when everybody comes out and starts garage selling because about 8 30 on saturday oh my goodness you couldn't even find a parking spot at some of these garage sales because there were so many people there man you can get some really darn doing good deals at garage sales here so we feel very fortunate that we are able to have that as a way to save money and get things that we either need or want at like a fraction. I mean, we're talking one to 10% of retail value for a lot of things. So we are saving a ton of money. I know it looks like I'm spending a ton of money, but we are really saving a ton of money. Oh, the lamps are still here and they're that half off. <gasps> they're only $15, they're that half off. <laughs> I think we should get them. Where would we put them? <laughs> Actually, those, you could take the lamps out and those would be cute. For what? <laughs> those would be cute end tables. If you painted them. Not on any planet. If you painted them, they would be cute. Looking for shirts for the guys. No shirts for the guys. Need clothespins? Brand new clothespins for a dollar fifty cents. Oh, those sheets I had when I first oh, got married. Goodness. I remember those Mom, things. Mom, you bought me that set with the comforter for my wedding <laughs> present. <laughs> I loved it. Oh, do they have any cute patterns? I don't think my dad is going to see the cute patterns. Those are cute teacups. Teapots, yeah. Those are kind of cute. What is this, flowers? This one is little bird things sort of kind of weird I got that pattern already oh. I got that pattern already wait do I have that one Grandma Addie made me this for my wedding yes. I love these little guys for some reason they're 10 cents 5 That'll cents 5 cents that is 50 cents so it's a quarter oh, look at it mom likes that cute little thing there mm -hmm. um 
scrapbooking, but quilters can use them for applique to draw patterns that they need a heart pattern, flower pattern, oval. Yep. Okay, Father's Day's cards for five cents. Would it be too cheap to get Mike a Father's Day card for two and a half cents? Hold my stuff. Yeah, is, is it too cheap to spend two and a half cents for Mike a Father's Day present <laughs> or a gift card? It no, it's not. I think it's old. It's older. So what size is that? It's uh, large, extra, uh, extra yeah. large. Ooh, that would fit me. Mm -hmm. Southern, it's called Southern Potteries. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't you know, look that big. Mm -hmm. Come back. About a dollar and ten okay, cents today. I'm a big spender. This is what you call an impulse pur purchase. Your inner flower is coming out, mother. Well, it's not something I usually wear, and. It's the wrong size, and I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see it very good. <laughs> so she told me just to not put my glasses on when I put it on to wear it, and I won't know any different. <laughs> How much did you pay for it? A dollar. A dollar. I figured a dollar is worth. So I'd eat that in a candy bar. Okay, mother. What? You just told me you feel guilty taking the very front parking spot. Well, first of all, there's like 18 <laughs> parking spots because a little old lady might need it. Now, we are both gray-haired old ladies now. We identify as senior citizens. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't know. So, watermelons are three pounds for a dollar here, and they're five dollars at Walmart. For a whole watermelon. For a whole watermelon. But I don't see a scale to weigh it to see if it's cheaper. Okay, can we grab, let's grab one. Yeah, that's oh, good. Oh, no, that's more than five pounds, for sure. Well, no, it would have to be five times three. It'd have to be 15 pounds to be cheaper. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. Okay, put it in here, we'll see. Thank you. Oh, wait, I just found a scale. <laughs> Sorry, mother. <laughs> right there, stop. Okay, so how much is it? So, yeah, let's push it down and make it. Okay, so it is 13 pounds basically. So that would make it four dollars. So it's the same price as Walmart. No, this is seedless. Do you are those? But go ahead, yeah, go ahead and do one. Had a big enough one. Yeah. So here's the thing: ground beef patties are 2.79 for 80.20 right there. Okay, but if you go right here. Uh, See where to go. What? It was online. Oh, here. Okay, right there. Look. So it's nine ninety nine for three pounds, basically three thirty a pound. But you get one, two, three free. So I saved myself three dollars over buying it at Walmart, which is cheaper than here. So it's still cheaper, even though this is probably 70, 30, it's still cheaper. Because you get the free items. Because I need these items anyway, mm -hmm. and I need the hamburger, so it's still cheaper. And that's the key too. If you're not gonna eat them, don't get the yeah. items. So we're gonna go get this deal here. She hasn't put her, put her tags over here yet, so I'm guessing it's this one. Okay, and I'm assuming- so It should be three, yeah. No limit, since there's no limit on. Okay, great, thank you. I will take that one. So, let's see. The boys are going through burgers a lot. I'll get six. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six burgers. So now I need six ketchup, six mint mustard, six buns. 14 ounce. This one's 14 ounce mustard. That's 20 ounces. Here. Nope, that one down there, I think. This one? Okay, 14 ounces. Yes, so I need six of those. Six. Okay. Now, ketchup is 20 ounces of the Food Club ketchup. 
20 ounces of the Food Club ketchup is 20 ounces. Nope, that's 32. Here it is. Nope, that's 32. Here. 20 ounces. Six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now everybody asks, how do I get my stockpile re rebuilt? This is how I do it. Okay, next. Are you kidding me? This. Oh, aren't those cute? For five dollars? That's what I pay for a big one. Oh, cow. Western Farms hamburger buns. So I need six of those. Don't you love grocery shopping with me, Mom? I don't. I don't go to the gym anymore because I grocery shop with you. I've lost more weight. Okay. We got this. Is that going to stay up there? Nope. Here we go. We're just rolling down the aisle. <laughs> We're just rolling down. Uh, oh, okay. 86 89 please. Um, Drop okay. to 64 15 Yay! So, everybody will say, I know they're going to say this, but one is 80-20. And these, were those, were those 70-30, Mom, the, hold on. 70-30. Those hamburgers that we got that were frozen. Oh, in here. It doesn't say in the ad. Can you see on the package of the hamburger? Oh, I think it was 12 cents. <gasps> oh, it's 80-20. It's even a better deal. Oh, you mean that. Hot dog. Okay, guys, it is still here. I know. I look at it every time I come. And now it's ten dollars instead of fifteen. Hmm. The only thing would that take up a lot of space in the bathroom. You'd have to have big. Yeah, bathroom. but I have, but have I have a big, big bathroom. bathroom, so that would work. But I already have towel storage, so I guess I don't need towel storage. <gasps> you know what? That would be good for. <laughs> oh, we should just buy it. <laughs> oh my God. I could set that behind my chair for all my magazines and stuff that I read. Does that look English cottage? It does. Hmm. Maybe next week they'll come down to $5. Can we ask them if they take five for it? Good. Which are those? Um, but mostly a dollar of the bunches that I, as I put together, these are a couple. Do we need more flowers? I don't need those kinds. Oh, that's pretty. You've got some different ones, all kinds, and there's some in the back. Uh, some of them might be useful for like, we're hoping, you know, for Memorial Day. Memorial Day. So we thought we'd better get them out. <laughs> The deer keep eating my flowers, so I'm putting fake ones up. <laughs> yes, fake I have them. done that in a couple pots because I don't do well with planting in pots. Yeah. So I just decided, hey, you know. Yeah. And, and they're blooming all year round. Exactly. <laughs> Even in December. <laughs> yeah. well, my husband puts them away. Well, so I had a problem. I put fake ones out for Christmas. And they got frozen. And just like, what, three weeks ago did it finally defrost? I was able to get them out. <laughs> I had to have them up because they froze into the ground and I couldn't get them out. So that wasn't my brilliant idea. It wasn't so brilliant. <laughs> okay, we walked out with nothing. We walked out with nothing, but I don't know. I'm still thinking about that thing. Those flowers over there. Yeah, those are the ones she was just pricing. Oh. Actually, wow. Yeah, how much is that? It's plastic, but it looks kind of real. How much did she want for it? A dollar? Oh, I don't know. 
It looks pretty good though, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't look plastic. Maybe I will. Okay, I decided to take one. <laughs> oh, thank you. One Have a good one. You too. So just as I was announcing I didn't buy anything, I'm glad I did not lie and send me to the pit of hell for being a liar. <laughs> Jeans a dollar. Yeah. All curtains. I need curtains. Ooh. I think I'm gonna get that. Ours is getting pretty worn out. The boys are using it like every day. Oh, that is cute. Oh shoot. It's a nice one too. Actually, I don't like mine very well. Well, you have to get, you got to do trial and error, depending on the size of the eggs a little bit, and you get used to it. Oh, look at all these. Okay, Mom, I'm going to need help now. I'm going to need help now. Can you carry? Or actually, let me just take this up to the front. Film anything you find. Film anything you find. <laughs> Ooh, look at that cherry flavor there. That's cute. Yeah, that plate is cute. That's a cute dish. Are free? Oh my goodness. Here, go oh, look more. at these. Was it you or Grandma that had these? I did. Well, Grandma had them too. Oh, those were so handy. I know. They're a perfect size. I use mine all the time. But do I really need them? Not really. Just got all those other ones. Okay, what is it, guys? Now, if it was a popcorn popper, it, need a lid. it would need a lid. But it's not a popcorn popper. So, what is it? That is the question. That is an egg cooker, I think. I thought. Like in the microwave or something? Okay, hold on. Let's try this. Okay, so what is this? Look at that. It's got a lid. Look, it's got a lid right there, and it's flexible. And they've got like 10 of them in here for a dollar. What is it? 15 for a dollar. Those are the ones I got the other day. Mm. Trying to find a knife that says you're the most perfect mother for you to give to me next Mother's Day. Okay, I will find that for you for your birthday coming up. Look, it says you're the most perfect Here, mother how's, in the world. how's just mother? No, no, mother. It has to have something really. <laughs> okay, guys. What is it? Look at this. I know what it is. Okay, but don't say what it is yet. And it's made by Tupperware. Exactly what it and is. this slides in and out like so with no lid, it looks like. It's I don't know. Have a lid. Okay, it's supposed to have a lid. All right, guys, what is it? Oh. The entire set for a dollar. Well, I was looking at the containers. Oh, the holders. The holders. <gasps> that is kind of cute. Isn't that cute? They're glass. Ceramic. Hmm. Those are really cute. There's something different. How much was it? A dollar. A dollar? Yeah. For all of it? Yeah. Those are so cute. Yeah. You could even use them to keep, like, little... Not pencils, but mm -hmm. something maybe or something. I think I'll get it for a dollar. What do you think? Yeah, I was going to get it for a dollar. Okay, you get it for a dollar. These, no, that's okay. These would match my new kitchen. Do I keep the spoons and stuff in it too? Yeah, I guess. 
Well, here's some more spoons for 25 cents. I don't need the spoons. My fork and spoon holders. Set a dollar. Well, how much are the spoons and stuff? I need new spoons and stuff. Those are kind of lanky spoons, yeah. though. I'll just try to take this stuff out. I just come with it. I don't know. You have to ask the lady. Okay. You don't just leave it here. <laughs> Did you want it? Does that work? Mm, I don't necessarily. Okay. Should I just stick them in here then? You just leave them right here. Oh, okay. 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 Someone decided to. Yeah, these guys are cool. We need to look them up because I didn't know what it was. Oh, yeah. You, yeah. It was but for a birthday, you know? Mm -hmm. nice. They're really cute. I'm trying to, I'm trying to arrange them for look you. Look at that little tray right there. Oh, oh perfect. That's cute. That's yeah. cute. What a good idea. Would you like to volunteer here? <laughs> <laughs> How much do you need that little tray frame? Would you like to tray? That would be awesome. Now you put, a dollar. Would you like to take this the Now you put all the... Oh, wait, I guess. Dear. Thank you. Yeah. $5.50. For Four your baskets. To show things. You don't have to handle down oh. right? Oh. I don't know if I'm doing them or not. Those are nice little baskets. Do I get them just I'll in split case? I'll with you if you don't. If you want to, you oh, know, that get, one's nice. That too. one's cute. <gasps> that one, that's a dollar. Oh, that's really cute. And actually, this one's pretty that's cute, too. Cute. That'd be a cute little trash can or something. Okay. Oh, have mercy. What a, here I got the back of the car full. It's an, oh, it's an egg bottle. <laughs> I don't know oh, what to do with you. How much are they? Look at these. That's the price of them. Five dollars. Oh, they must be a good English. Oh, but those are cute. They are cute, aren't they? Oh, those would be so cute. Mike's brilliant idea. No oh, way. That's kind of expensive. But more stuff. Actually, should we just put this in a basket? Would that be easier? Which one's easier for you? Put it in a basket. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. As long as you buy, buy a lot, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't even... Okay, this is sad. We have two basketfuls. Oops. He's here. Why are you guys taking all of this? Is it white? Why you guys... uh, it's a wide-angle lens, but we're YouTubers. Oh. And we teach people how to save money and get out of debt. Oh. And one of the ways to do that is to shop oh, at thrift stores. Thrift stores. <laughs> Because people <laughs> people think they can't find anything at thrift stores, but you can. <laughs> so, are these too dark for my living room? They're the right length. You're just going to have them pulled to the side. I mean, I was going for something floral, but they're only $4. Can you use them downstairs someplace if you don't use them? Or, you know, let's get rid of them, I guess. So. Yeah. Well, I could change the ones out downstairs. You'd go with blue. Brown and blue go together pretty good. Well, I was changing in my bedroom. Well, I have some curtains in my bedroom, but... I don't know. Well, if you're putting florals out, that's good. I was. Hmm. An open bottle of enzymes? Okay, I don't know that I would do an open bottle of enzymes. No. <laughs> Much podge here. Some Mod Podge. Mod Podge Sparkle. So, 50 cents. I think it's $5, $4 or $5, maybe. Do I get them or not? Oh, brother, I don't know what to do. It's not even opened. Oh, really? Yeah. Which, that's why it's good and liquidy. Oh, good. You know what? I have that other material I bought here. That I could put in the dining room as a valance. It's similar to that? No, but it's it's colorful, but it's not. Although it's. Oh man, I don't know. Maybe I'll get them. Yeah. Okay, all the basket in this pile. Oh, how much are these? If they're like a quarter each, I'll take them. Otherwise, I'll wait. No, I'll give you a quarter each. That's fine. They're four dollars. They're on the other side of the room. Oh, did you see that? 
I saw them the other day. Four dollar dozen. Oh, okay. Well, there's a dozen in there. Two, four, six, eight. Well, would you give them to me for a quarter each? Uh, if it's marked like that, I can't. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, I'll wait then. Okay, you wait. I can go put it back for you. Okay. Oh, we got boxes. <laughs> what do we got today? So we got boxes full today. And we have that whole pile over there on the bench. <laughs> Okay, 1850, please. Oh, I didn't see the price on those canning jars. And I asked her if she'd take a quarter for each of them because there was 10 in there, and she said, sure. And then the box said $4 for all the canning jars. And I was like, well, well, they didn't all have complete lids and everything. And so... Um, so then, uh, this other lady was like, well, I'll go ahead and take them. Oh. <laughs> Although I don't think it was quite worth 40, 40 cents or so each. Yeah, yeah, 40 cents each if they didn't have the lids. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go through real quick what we got and what we're doing with it. So, all these baskets here, I might be doing craft shows, stab me in the eye right now, as a fundraiser for Jack's school. We're selling our spices from our Dining on a Dime cookbook, guys. All our spice recipes everybody loves. And we sold out on our first craft show. So if we decide to do a craft show with the spices, I got these. If not, I can resell these on Upcycle if we oh, don't yeah. use them. So mom wants them if I don't use them for the yeah, craft mom, show. Five fifty for four, a dollar, and a dollar. So that's and definitely worth it. And these handles spin down, which makes yeah, it more versatile. Makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Then I got these curtains. Now this was a I don't know buy, but I'm pretty sure I can resell these on Upcycle. I paid $4 for these really super long curtains. Our George Foreman grill literally has the stuff wearing off on the inside because we've used it so much. So we're getting a new one of those. Mom got Mod Podge for 50 cents. And then you guys saw her little holder for a dollar. Those are pretty stinking cute. Those are pretty cute. So. And then we got these little buckets here. They're kind of flexible buckets for a dollar. So that was the first garage. Oh, well, actually, we had more stuff down here. What else do we have down here? Oh, yeah, those. Free so, dish. and your free dish. Mm -hmm. That's what we got at this one. Drove in the driveway to our front yard. And we're getting ready to unload, and we saw visitors. Oh, if those little turds have been eating my flowers, I'm going to be ticked. Oh, I hope I got stuff on everything. Oh. Okay, maybe they're they not look so innocent though. Yeah. But they're laying down so they look kind of full. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Okay, so it's not just the three. We've got a whole, a whole herd. Herd. Oh, there's even more behind the chair. Yeah. Oh my word. Well, thank you everyone for visiting. But if you eat my flowers, I'm going to kill you. Welcome. Share our food with us. You little turd. Stop eating all my blooms. Stop it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Go watch this video next. Check out our cookbooks at livingonadime.com. 25% off right now. Yeah, here, hold on. All right, guys, what is it? I'm pretty sure it's for Velveeta cheese. Oh, probably. It probably is. Could yep. you slide it? Yep. 